Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time. And today we are breaking down the Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever, the trailer, and we're trying to, you know, re you know, figure out what's going on. It might turn out to be spoilers, you know, because we're trying to figure it out. I might get it right and um spoil some parts for you so if that's not something you like you might want to check out i'm gonna be uh, making conclusions from the trailer and not not anywhere else really okay and if i do i'll probably tell you tachala's mother becomes the ruler because he's sitting she's sitting on the throne which is a very okay ideal thing to do um but it, it sounds like what they would do temporarily while they are trying to figure out who will sit on the throne permanently okay now on this shot i see um you um now they're wearing white it looks like they're celebrating it looks like they're actually celebrating uh tachala's passing away we don't know for sure it could just be something else okay let me just tell you this might be a wedding i think they are giving sherry a way in marriage to for some kind of peace between two communities or two worlds maybe to umbaku i don't know i'm just saying maybe to nemo from atlantis the one that attacked maybe she changed her mind because she wasn't happy which Everybody's dancing and smiling. She's the only one that wasn't um, happy. Okay? I see from this top shot here, she's being taken by somebody. So, which I believe that it's her mother on her side, taking her and giving her away. Perhaps she ran away because she didn't want to do it. Even though it would sort of you know create peace for the kingdom um but she definitely wasn't happy so that's a food for thought it could be a wedding ceremony and not a burial but back in the days with empires like that things are done like that sisters of the kings are usually married out you know the queens and uh, the right or the princesses are usually married out to kings of the other nations so that could be what's going on here and in the regular wakandian citizens are rejoicing because it, it will usually bring peace but if sherry takes off if sherry takes off then that's there's going to be a problem with uh, nemo and the underworld um, I did mention the other time that they introduced a new character and um, you know with the little information I found out it is Riri Williams and Riri is there another scientist like Sherry and uh, I think it's a good time if, if Sherry is going to be the Black Panther it's a good time to hand over her role to Riri it looks like Sherry is already Black Panther at that point like you know it kind of reminds me when she and T'Challa kind of shook hands and you know came to um in the lab the black panther character or whoever that is sherry or whoever um i can see in the background it's a, like an image of um nemo i see the green attire i see somebody getting up you know in the midst of the furnace and it looks like Sherry is doing it like whoever the Black Panther is like here, yeah, you know, there's no hope like, you know, um, Nemo is a character according to a friend of mine on this channel who indicated in the comments below uh, in the last video, he said Nemo is neither a villain nor a superhero, you know, he's really not uh, a bad guy no he's a uh, good guy it's possible to not be able to kill him so uh, it's possible but either way it looks like that it was him that was on the floor uh, which is a big thing to see because uh, Nemo didn't even avoid the 
airstrikes. Nemo didn't even move. He stood there like, <laughs> you know, uh, for the fact that, um, let me wrap up by talking about Mbaku. I think Mbaku has been nothing but supportive. I mean, I know he affects him, he has to be there, but he's played an important role to be given some attention, you know, in future movies. Like, even before T'Challa passed away, I made a video. <laughs> you can check the video out. And I made a video that Umbaku was going to be king of Wakanda. I really don't think I need to explain further. Do I need to explain further? Don't you already figure it out? Like, if you have seen Infinity War and you know that T'Challa, the king of Wakanda, disappeared or was wiped out from existence. Now, what do you think will happen to the leadership of Wakanda? Once again, my prediction, Umbaku becomes king of Wakanda. And if you ask me why, hello, the mother already was ready to hand over when they thought their son had died. You remember, the mother was ready to give him the fruit or the flower with the Black Panther power on it. Why T'Challa was going to be Black Panther? and actually go into the world and be part of Avengers and do all the world tours and stuff like that while uh, Mbaku becomes king of Wakanda. I still believe that could happen because he deserves it, right? Because T'Challa is not there anymore and even if he's going to come back in, in the form of his own son, he might just go, they might just decide to focus him as an international superhero, not just a Wakanda uh, um, king, you know, sitting and ruling and doing all this stuff at the same time. So that's my own thought. That's my hope. I hope that happens. But I would love to see how that fight, you know, takes place between Mbaku and Nemo, you know. Or at least nobody has uh, clarified that Mbaku has some supernatural powers anyway, um, but he could just he could just have some, or um, portray some, or it could just be given some, so that he can, you know, perform better and be king and stuff like that. All right, that's it for today, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, react. <laughs> I'd love to hear your feedback and your thoughts about my, you know, point of views about what's going to happen. Um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to share. I appreciate that. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.